raises more questions. A Kara might be the Iranian name for a T90 Mas, a locally produced copy or just a cosmetic upgrade of the T72. Or something else entirely. Russia's T90 Mas is a modern machine which can easily take on the best tanks in service around the world. It represents an evolutionary not revolutionary design philosophy. To simplify, the T90 family combines the older T72's chassis with the T80's turret. There are several reasons why the T90 borrows from both tanks. The T80 is plagued by troublesome turbine engines the Russians have since moved away from. But the main reason is to combine the strengths of both platforms. The T90 also comes with important upgrades such as active protection systems designed to throw off incoming anti-tank weapons. And the T90 is tough. In a rare glimpse of the machine in combat in February, an American-made tow anti-tank missile fired by rebel fighters hit a Syrian T90 but appeared to only cause minor damage. The tank spotted doing donuts on Iranian TV certainly looks like a T90 Mas. There are several clues including the turret's shape, the slat armor covering the engine and especially the jagged, teeth-like skirting and explosive reactive armor plating above the tracks. However, there are several differences, as the blog below the turret ring observed. The Iranian tank has a visible sleeve at the base of the turret, no additional rear wood fuel barrels as on the T-90 Mas and it has a larger machine gun mounted on the top. These are fairly minor modifications visible in a low quality video, but the differences could be enough to indicate a second possibility. The tank might be an Iranian copy. Whether Tehran built it from scratch or cobbled it together from existing tanks, we don't know. However, its doubtfully run can build a T-90 to the same specifications as the Russian version, and there is no evidence Tehran has a licensing arrangement with Russia for technical assistance regarding the T-90, although there has been chatter in the press about making such a deal since December. Iran and Russia can make individual arms deals despite a UN arms embargo on a case-by-case -case basis, the diplomat noted when news of a potential deal arose. Iranian officials have since walked back reports they may buy or seek technical assistance from Ural Vigan Zavad, the Russian company which manufactures the T-90. We were once interested in buying the Russian tanks, Brigadier General Ahmad Reza Pordistan, the Iranian army's ground forces chief, told the Fars news agency in February. But since we can manufacture similar models within the country and we plan to do so in the near future, the deal is now off. According to Fars, Pordistan claimed that Iran has the technological know-how to produce new generation battle tanks and advanced military hardware. Another possibility? The tank is not a T-90 at all, but an attempt to dress up one of Iran's existing T-72s so it looks like one. If so, the tank may lack important countermeasures such as anti-missile dazzlers and modernized fire control systems that make the T-90 what it is. This would not be an unusual move on Tehran's part. The Iranian military often exaggerates its capabilities for propaganda purposes. And lacking access to research, parts and supplies from abroad, Iranian engineers rely on creativity and engineering ingenuity to make up for shortcomings whenever possible. In April, Iran revealed a new tank named the Tiam. But it's not really new. The TM's chassis is from an M47 and 1950s design supplied by the United States during the reign of the Shah and the turret is from a Chinese Type 59